lasagna. Everybody loves it. I'm not sure if everybody knows how to make it, so I'm gonna show you. It's affordable, it's simple, it's delicious. Don't panic. I'm gonna guide you through each and every step of the way. Here's the ingredients that you're gonna need. 500 grams of minced beef, cheddar cheese, six dried lasagna sheets, butter, plain flour, semi-skimmed milk, and some fresh basil. Over here, I've got some of my homemade pasta sauce that I had left over at the freezer. I'm not gonna show you how to make it today, but if you'd like to see how it's done, click the link and that'll take you straight to the video and you can watch. Now, equipment. We're gonna need a nice small pan, a medium to large shallow frying pan, a nice oven dish, baking sheet, wooden spoon, a whisk and a serving spoon. Let's get started. We're gonna put our pan on quite a high heat because we want to fry off our mince. Now we're not putting any oil in this pan because mince has got quite a high fat content. All the fat will come out and it will fry in its own fat. Wash my hands. We're gonna just chop it all up as it's frying because we want this to go nice and brown and cook it all the way through. If you've got vegetarians, you don't have to use any meat at all. This sauce, it's got eight different vegetables in it. So you could use that on its own, it's not a problem. At the moment, it's cooked, but we want it to get a nice bit of colour. It's looking rather grey. Could you imagine if we'd have put any oil in there? It'd be swimming in grease. No one wants to eat that. We've got it pretty much to where we want it to be. It's cooked all the way through, going nice and brown. So we're going to drain this slightly, and then I'll show you all the fat left behind. That's the last of it. Look at all that oil. You don't want that. Let's give this a good old mix. And we want to leave this to simmer for about 10 minutes or so. While that's doing, we're going to make a bechamel sauce. Don't panic. I know it sounds a bit funny, but it's not. It's one of the easiest sauces to make. It's one of the first things I learned at college. And now I'm going to teach you. We're going to need our pan on a medium heat. We're going to take a knob of butter straight in the pan to melt. And what we're making here is called a roux. Now the butter's melted. I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of flour. Mix this in. That's what it needs to look like. We're gonna add probably about just over half a pint of milk to this, but we're gonna do it gradually. Don't panic. I know you might be looking at this and thinking, oh no, it's gone wrong, it's gone wrong. It hasn't. This is what it's supposed to be doing. Just trust me, stay with me, and I promise you, you'll get it right. When it's getting a little bit more loose, you want to change your wooden spoon for a whisk. It's come together and it's like a, a mayonnaise-y kind of texture. We need to add a little more milk. Bechamel sauce is the white sauce of the lasagna, but you can use it to make macaroni cheese, you can use it to make cauliflower cheese. So it's a great trick to have up your sleeve. No lumps. Just beautiful, beautiful, creamy white sauce. Take that off the heat, season it. Um, we just want a little grating of nutmeg just to lighten it up, mix all of that in. And there you go, you've done it. Bechamel sauce, ready for your lasagna. Our meat looks lovely. I think it's time to start building. If you played with Lego as a kid, or if you're like me and played with stickle bricks, it's just building. I'm going to grate some cheddar on top and a couple of basil leaves. If you've got your friends coming round, or if you're trying to impress a lady or a fella, just makes it look a little bit special. A nice little pinch of pepper on the top. Then I'm going to put that in an oven, about 180 degrees, gas mark six, for about 30 to 40 minutes. Here is the finished product. Let's dish up. Lovely jubbly. Don't you just want to eat that right now? Looking beautiful, smelling wonderful. Lasagna! 
What I like to serve with mine is a nice simple side salad and some homemade garlic bread. I'm not going to show you how to make that in this video, but if you'd like to see how I do it, click the link and it will take you straight to the video and you can watch how it's done. Have a go, try it out and let me know how you get on. If you do anything a little bit different, you've got any new tips or techniques that you'd like to share, comments box below. I'm waiting to hear from you. Good luck.